Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explore why you can't remember what you read. Now if this is you, you are 100% not alone. Most people find it very, very hard to remember information when they read it straight away, especially if you're trying to cram a lot of information in your brain all at once. So in this video I'm going to share with you three awesome memory hacks to help you boost that memory so that whatever it is you're learning or revising actually sticks in your brain. And if you stay until the very end, then I have a special download for you as well. Memory hack number one, stories and mnemonics. So if you think about a time when you've been reading, most of the time when people read something that's pretty dense, like anatomy and physiology, they read through it and all they do is they read it word for word. They don't actually create a way to remember it. Now that's okay if the information is fairly simple and you understand all of the context around it. But when you're after processes or lists of things, it's good to have a memory trigger. And the way to do that is to create yourself stories, mnemonics, anything possible. It could be totally random to help you remember what falls into what category and this will help you stay really focused for your exam, but also allow you to remember it for lifelong learning. This is something we do with our Anatomy and Physiology Revision Mastery Series where we do all the linking, creating all the little stories and mnemonics. So all you need to do is learn the mnemonics, not create the mnemonics yourself. Memory hack number two, set up for success. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I don't understand why I'm not learning. And when I ask what they do, they basically squeeze it in in between boiling the kettle and answering the kids' screams. So it comes down to actually setting yourself up for success telling your body, telling your mind that this is learning time. Best place that I find is to go to a coffee shop, put my headphones in and just spend some time learning. I go, right, those two hours are just for learning. And in a coffee shop, I've got no distractions. Turn off my phone or put it on aeroplane mode and then I get no distractions at all. That's a really good way of learning. And I find that if you change environment, it can help massively. So set yourself up for learning in an environment where you have limited distractions and you know you are there for a set amount of time where you're focused on what it is you're learning. Memory hack number three, we all learn differently. Now, what I generally find with those that are in fitness or in health in general, they are very practical people. It's not necessarily that we aren't academic, we certainly are, but it just means that we're generally quite hands-on, quite practical people. We like to do things. So generally, people will be kinesthetic or visual learners. Now, reading from a manual just doesn't cut it. It kind of gets to the point whereby it just isn't fitting in with what you do in your body. It's not how you like to learn. So a kinesthetic learner likes something that is moving or something that is doing. So that might mean that you are answering cheat sheet questions or multiple choice questions about the topic you're learning about. It might be that you like watching videos like this, in which case you need to find a learning pattern that suits how you like to learn rather than forcing yourself to learn in a way that doesn't suit you, like say from a manual. So that's really memory hack three is that you need to find what suits you. If you work well with videos, then use videos. If you work well with audio, use it. And I find that really is great for kinesthetic learners and visual learners like most fit pros are. So that's all three of the memory hacks and you might choose to use all of them or just one of them but whatever you do make sure you choose to use something so pop a comment below which of those three will you implement and how do you see it benefiting your memory as you go ahead and start to actually remember what it is you're reading now another way to make sure that you're remembering like i said earlier is questions so test your knowledge and I have a way for you to do that. So you can download 101 mock questions. All you need to do is hit the little link below in this description and you'll be able to download them straight away and get testing. If you like this video, make sure you hit the little like button, subscribe and also share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.